live from Toronto worldwide. Welcome everybody to the witching hour. Wednesday night, just past 3 a.m. Toronto time. So happy to be here with all of you guys. Let us know who's here. Let us know what you're up to on this beautiful night. Just past 3 a.m., 3.08. Do you know where your children are? Where are your children? Galen is waiting. I doubt Galen is still waiting. He's probably fast asleep now, just past midnight in San Francisco. I imagine only the witches are out at this hour, but there's 18 of you, 18 witches in the house. Lick the stream. Drop your sense of the day down below. Let us know what you're wearing. Let us know where you're watching from. Let us know why you chose what you're wearing. How did you choose that? Or did it choose you? Are you choosing life or is life choosing you? Who picks your fragrances? Does your mom pick your fragrances? Does your partner pick your fragrances? Do the Facebook groups pick your fragrances? Who picks your fragrances and why? Pick your fragrances. Pick your fragrances. Galen, what are you waiting for exactly? Should I hold on here until you get up? Till you till you get here? Pulling the strings. What's happening? You said um, you've been on the Frederick Mall kick, and I love it. I've also been rocking my Frederick Mall lately. Yeah, we're going to do like a deep dive. I mean, we're here all the time, so we might as well um, talk about perfume more often. <laughs> right? Why not? So... I am enjoying my Frederick Malls, and this gives me more reason to. So we'll do all of the Frederick Malls in a row. I'll just wear all Frederick Mall until this series is done. And so far, we've done, I don't know how many. We've done Heaven Can Wait. We've done Par Parfums de Trace, um, Bois d'Orage, Muscrave Azure, Lipstick Rose. Um, that's five. So yeah, we'll keep doing Frederick Mall. Why not? Everybody loves Frederick Mall. I love Frederick Mall. Um, let us know what you wore. Did you wear Frederick Mall? A says, sending my best wishes to y'all. Won't be able to make it tonight, but scent of the day, koala zoologist. Great scent for bed. So zen. Enjoy your meditation. A. Glad to hear you're enjoying Koala. Nick Walker, what is happening? Good to see you. Good morning from Windsor. <sighs> Good morning, Windsor. Unpopular unpopular opinion, but Geranium Pour Monsieur is my favorite Frederick Mall. That doesn't have to be unpopular. That's your opinion. Uh, there's nothing unpopular about it. If you love it, you love it. It might not be everybody else's favorite, but that's that's fine. I'm a sucker for mint. I like mint too. And I'm a fan of geranium. Put them on your Nick Walker. I'm a big fan of geranium. I love the mint in this. Got 24 here. I see 24 people from around the world here. Like the stream, people. 26. Wow, we're growing by the minute. Like the stream. I'm going to have to hold you hostage. And you won't be able to leave. Until I'm done detaining you. And while I'm detaining you, I'll have my way with you. Doing all sorts of things you may or may not like. <laughs> like the stream. Nothing wrong with the Geranium Promoncier. I'm on my third bottle, says Babouche. Wow, that's a lot of Geranium Promoncier. Hmm. I wonder which Frederick Mall I'll get through first. I think I'm done Rose and Queer the most. 
I've 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 used Rosenqueer the most. So that would probably be my my closest to finish bottle, but it'll probably be a couple of years before that happens. Rizard, what's happening? Really likes Geranium Promoncier. I can't imagine not too many people love um not liking Geranium Promoncier. Frank, yeah, buddy. What's happening, Frank? Been a while. Where have you been? Hope everything is okay. Frank is at work. Night shift at the hospital. Who else does night shift? The graveyard shift, the afternoon shift, and how do you guys like it? I'm really enjoying my my uh, late shifts, and I'm also enjoying this hour on streaming, the 3 a.m. stream. So it just works. It works. <laughs> it's it's my slot. I'm taking it. I'm owning this slot. Frank is in purple label. Nosy neighbor, the genius. Oris Eros. Hi, hi. Hi, Oris Eros. Hope you're doing well. How are you, Eugene? Well, thank you for asking, Nosy. I'm doing quite well. Had a really good day. Went to the gym. Went to work. And here I am. Slept most of the other time I was off. So it was a really lovely day. Um, I'm happy to be here, like here on earth, enjoying this day with all of you guys. I am, I'm excited actually. I'm ecstatic to be here, to experience this life, watching it unfold and going to wherever it is we're going, like into that place, into that reality. It's amazing how that happens, eh? I think about it all the time, like how, what is happening here? Who is orchestrating this? Where is the grand master? Where is the puppet master? I want to see the puppet master. That's like my, <laughs> it's like my wildest fantasy to meet God on the deepest levels in every moment. Lewis, what's happening? Hey, what's up? Uh, a live stream. <laughs> a live stream is up. Sent of the day reflection, man. I want to get a new frag for spring. Thinking about boy Chanel. Yes, or wait for the meteor or comet or whatever it's called. Or maybe should wait and try some Louis Vuitton and music for a while. Molly, yeah, try some all. Try all of it, Louis. Go and try as much as you can. Mm, that's what I would say. Try as many perfumes as you can. Louis, what's happening? Hi, Eugene. Sent to the day. Testing synthetic jungle for the first time. Love at first smell. I honestly had doubts I'd like it. Why did you doubt it? What did you doubt about not liking it? Um, it's a great one. Nice. I love Frederick Mull's use of bitter materials in, in a lot of his perfumes and you see it, uh, quite often, you know, obviously it's, it fluctuates between intensity from perfume to perfume, but he has this, this thing for bitterness, bitter greens, uh, bitter earth tones. I love that. That's why I love Frederick Moll so much. Like a lot of his accords just go back to nature. Somebody asked me like, why don't you like this house or this brand? And it's because they, I don't like sweet things. I like more natural smelling things. I like more earth tones and, and um, yeah, Frederick just knows how to do it. What's happening, Justin? Good to see you. AW is in Bois Mysterio scent of the day cuts through the cold. Yes, it is gorgeous. Love Bois Mysterio. Big, big fan. Oris says, today I wore tower incense rose. I think I have that, Oris. Tonight I'm wearing Bellam and the most expensive pair of light lilac gray suede gloves. Okay. I think I have tower incense rose. I would... Guys, do I have tower incense rose? Remind me. And it is a good, it is a good rose. And Nora says, tonight I'm wearing Bellum and the most expensive pair of light lilac gray suede gloves. What are you doing in these gloves? Are you, where are you going? What's up? Where's the party at? Babouche says, wore Terra de Hermes EDT. It's been a while. Yeah. Gorgeous. Scent of the day, Rizard says, New York intense. Dushan says, good morning from Serbia. What's happening, Dushan? Good to see you. Christoph, good morning. David Hunter, New York City. 
disgusting adjective genius level brilliant better than the very best usage les abstrait la douleur excuse is disgusting meaning <laughs> genius level brilliant better than the very best thank you david hunter i really appreciate you um i i assume that you are enjoying it uh, if anyone else wants to try les abstrait you can you can try them um, at lesabstrait.com for those of you that don't know and want to try les abstrait if you purchase one of the samples just get one of them i'll send you all three so for 15 bucks you can try La Doulette Exquise, Bellum, and Desandre. And uh, yeah, if anyone's not aware of that. But thank you, David. Glad you're enjoying them. Herman Remmer says, hey from Helsinki, Finland. Scent of the day is going to be musk ravageur. So we got lots of Frederick Mall fans all over the world. It's good to see. Hope you're doing well, Herman. Babouche. Do with me as you wish. Morning. Drawn by Sense, how you doing? Good morning from the South UK. Working and not watching Honest. I'd be really, really, really disappointed if I caught you watching while you were working. I mean, I did put on Vetiver Extraordinaire from a sample, though, I said today. It's quiet and down, but enjoying it. Yeah. How do you, what do you guys think of um, Vetiver Extraordinaire? That is my scent of the day, and we're going to get into this. Where, where are you? A bit of extraordinary. Here we go. The classic vetiver. Spicy, woody, fresh, citrusy thing. Nosy Neighbor says, excellent. All is well when Nosy is here. Louis says, or Louis, Louis says, right, right now in one hand I have Santal Royale, and in the left I have Oud Rosewood. Find it so similar, more sweet Santal Royale, more thick and dark rosewood for now. Yeah, two big perfumes. And the DK, what's happening in music for a while? So we got more Frederick Mole here. Good to see the Freddie Moles. Do with me as you wish. I am game. What's going on here, Babouche? Like the stream for my pal Frederick Mole. Like the stream for Frederick Mole. Great idea. How many likes are there, Dushan? Cheap imitation, what's happening? What are you doing up at this hour? You are on, I imagine, the west, east, east coast, east coast. Um, so about the same time as Toronto. Just about to sleep, but just wanted to say hey to the late night crew. All right, man, good to see you. Good to see you, bud. Scent of the day was La Pausa. Awesome. I am in a vetiver extraordinaire, as you can see. What should we do tomorrow? What Frederick Mall should we do tomorrow? What uh, what would you guys like to say? I got some requests for Dante Bra this morning and something else, but I'd already I'd already like chosen, so I don't mind a good request. Nosy says good, bad, or indifferent. I'm happy to be here too. All right, man, that's cool, Nosy. We're just gonna kick back. Also, yeah, give us your scent today. Also, give us your strain of the night if you are straining. I had some sour diesel. Just the classic sour. Nick Walker says, deciding on a Canadian NHL team to root for, either the Leafs, Canadians, or Canucks. I have family in Toronto and Vancouver, so torn between cities. Toronto, bro. It has to be the Leafs. It has to. I got a Leaf sweater somewhere. Hang on, let me grab my Leaf sweater. Yo, check this baby out. Yeah. How does that look? Guess guess the player. Guess the number. I oh, might have been seen already. This is Taidomi. The NHL's bad boy. He was the NHL's bad boy. And this jersey, they had... The fighters, right? So Domi was a fighter. He couldn't play hockey for anything. He could barely even skate. His only job was to come on the ice and fight. And the fighters <clears throat> had these things stitched into the back of their sweaters, these these tie downs, and they would they would tie kind of a belt <laughs> through their pants through here, so their sweaters couldn't get pulled off in the fight. 
So I'm not sure if all hockey players have this, but the fighters would have this. And there you go. I think it's the best sweater in the league. I think it's the best team in the league, but <laughs> they haven't won anything in 50 years. For better or worse. Always, man. Antonio Hobson. Hello, everyone. Good to see you, Antonio. Send the day on Cray Noir, a la extreme. Another vetiver. Cold and rainy in San Francisco. Yeah, it's that kind of time of year. Bro, have you not heard what Susie said about Bellum? I have not, bro. What has Susie said? Susie Nightingale, I imagine. What has she said? I haven't heard anything. I uh, no. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Should we listen to it together all at once? You smelling like teen spirit again. I love that shirt. I was listening to the Incestible album recently. I wore Nord Noir. What's happening, Chet? Nord Noir seems like a, a, a good matching to Nirvana. Yeah. Nosy neighbor says, I wish I could I, I could wish for it to be better. However, I'm grateful because it could always be worse. Yeah, wherever you are, bro. I hope, I hope, uh, I hope you're doing well. Stay strong, man. Yeah. It gets better. It's like the weather, you know, it's always shifting and changing and turning and like the seasons, right? So and things happen. Things happen. You know, they happen to everybody. You're not alone. You know, things happen to everybody. And and just with a positive mindset, you'll dig yourself out of whatever is working and hopefully build some momentum. I'm cheering for you, Nosy. Wendy Maxfield says, wearing it now. Wearing Bellum. Aura says, she said it was like wearing the most expensive pair of light gray lilac gloves and stroking your naked body. Oh, that's what you meant. I had no idea. No. Okay. I'm going to have a listen me like after this stream. I just came home from work, so I didn't, I have no idea what's going on in the world. But thank you for sharing that, Oris. I'm excited to listen to it. That is, let me find the podcast really quickly here let me find the podcast on the scent podcast if anyone wants to listen to it all right found the link so if somebody wants to listen to on the scent podcast go on about bellum Thank you to whoever had sent them the samples of Bellum, by the way. I think I know. And it was St. Cellier. I, I think it was St. Cellier. So there's the link if somebody wants to listen to it. But go after the stream. Don't go now. Stick around. Go after the stream. Or if you do, come back. Hang out with us. I'm just going to sit up here before we collapse. She also called it a quiet whisper and a guardian angel. Well, yeah, she got the guardian angel part. It was like angelic, you know, it's in the name, uh, beautiful soul. So it was, and that's kind of the feeling it has a very angelic, ambery sort of thing with wings. It does have wings. It has like these wings that those musks, the musk in, in Belom, it has this like, it takes off. It has wings, you know? It just flies like an angel. A quiet whisper. Christoph and Goldman. What's happening, Chris? Antonio says, love vetiver extraordinary. Very clean and great for work. Anything. Absolutely. It is great for work and very clean and masculine. Classic. And I think uh, um, it is a big bold vetiver i'm not a fan like i don't want to say i'm not a fan i enjoy my vetivers more as a uh like a background note not as a starring note um more as a supporting note but here i i really can appreciate this this is a draining from a, a vetiver extraordinaire so this is big wet grassy vetiver and it is smoky but not it's not like rubbery, smoky, or tarry, smoky. It's a touch smoky. It's more rooty and earthy than it is smoky. You get a lot of those elements like um, roots, 
as if you had dug soil out and roots from the ground, the vetiver roots, you know, you get all that. There might be even some angelica in here. There's something that connects, for me, there's something that has always connected vetiver extraordinaire, Bois d'Orage, and Angelica Sula Pluie. And I think it's the Angelica from Sula Pluie that, that comes in here. Um, there's a big supporting cedar. It's like fresh cut cedar. It's exactly like being out in the fresh air and chopping cedar down. And as you kind of splice into it and, and rip it open from the center, you can get, you know, even like the sawdustiness or um, there's even bits of hamster cage in here. But very fresh, very clean, crisp. It's very, very much suited for like a white shirt, white, crisp iron shirt. Very office friendly, very office safe. Yeah, a bit minty. Somebody was saying mint earlier. Um, I find this quite mentholated. But very lovely. Green. Green and grassy. Classic. Uh, great for work, just like Antonio says. Frank says, his music for a while discontinued? I haven't heard that. I'd hate to, but I'd love to back it up. Frags are expensive. Backing up more, more so. I haven't I haven't heard that it's going to be discontinued. But if if it was, that's something I would consider backing up. I, I do enjoy music for a while. Scent of the day, Dushan's in Frederick Malt, portrait of a lady. Good job. Drawn by sense. I took a break from work to lick the stream. Thank you so much for licking the stream. Lick the stream. Flower Girl B says, what to get first? Sycamore or vetiver extraordinaire? Mmm. Question to the chat. Should Flower Girl B get Sycamore or Vetiver Extraordinaire? Those are the top two for me. Those are my two favorite vetivers. And what I love is they're both very different styles. Sycamore is much more smokier, drier, woodier. This is very wet and lush. Vetiver Extraordinaire it has that big, fresh citrus note in the top, that orange orange oil um clove oil so it's very fresh and citrusy and sparkling but also spicy i love that combination it's um citrus like bitter citrus rinds right bitter bergamot um orange like whatever the is going on in big Red concentrate those bitter citrus rinds and clove you know that is a very classic kind of masculine thing the way that it, it's used here um but both are great both are very beautiful representations of vetiver antonio says it'll be a cherry pie when i get home damn i'm glad to hear that Louis says, never smelled vetiver extraordinaire. How similar is, is it to sycamore? Okay, so I think I kind of just went into it. Sycamore is just, it's much drier, and this is much wet. No, it's not redundant to own both. This is uh, more wet and fresh and lush. Spicy. It's spicy and woody. Fresh, spicy, warm, spicy. Um, this is much fresher than sycamore. Right, sycamore is dry, dry woods, dry spices, dry sandalwood, dry, dry, dry resins, smoke. This is much more smokier, but it's also rooty and earthy. They're both very earthy, earthy. Trees van not milk and cookies. Yes. Has to be a Leafs. Oh, nice sweater. It is a nice sweater. The Montreal Canadiens have a nice sweater as well. I love this shade of red and kind of that blue that cuts cuts in the center. And the Le Habitant like logo is really classic. Um, Montreal's won a ton of championships. So you can't go wrong with Canadians either. Montreal's a beautiful city. Frank says I wear a purple label because it's not too aggressive for the hospital. Purple label, is that, who makes, is that Polo? Ralph Lauren, purple, is it Ralph Lauren? I like Blackberry. 
I like blackberry as well. I like that fruitiness, dark berry notes, as well as its leather violet leaf. Wish I could wear Juby to the hospital. What about like half a spray or one spray of Juby? I think you would be pretty decent. It is very, very close to the skin, Juby. Juby is a personal scent. I don't find it explosive or obnoxious or room filling. But it's got personality. Milk and cookies, milk cookies and baby puke. Yeah, we talked about that. That and some other bond. One of the bonds had um, baby puke. Dushan's at work driving to the other company with my friend Batke. He loves the Joop home. What's happening, Batke? I hope you're doing good, man. Are you taking care of Dushan? Sycamore and Extraordinaire are very different. I think so as well. Yep, need both. Yeah. Perfume Addict. Hi. Hi, Eugene and everyone. Scent of the day. Get along. Bois Mysterio. I received a compliment. So you're the second person that is coming in with Bois Mysterio. And uh, awesome. What did that feel like for you? What did the comment comp compliment, what kind of context was it? And did they know that you're a perfume lover? Was it random, like a random stranger? Frank says, French lover, extraordinaire, bigger concentrate, the moon, about a, about 10 a tie for fifth. JP says, good morning from Berlin. Lovely peeps. Good morning, Berlin. What is happening? Susie and Nicola also did a perfume prescription for me this in this episode. They say I got to try Sal Goss, an imitation man. Hmm. Specifically just for you? I wonder how they pick those. Frank says pouring all day in Sacramento. It's not it's been uh, it's been cold but dry here. No rain, no snow. Abu, what is happening? Eugene is back. Yes, we're all back. 51 of us are back. 53 of us are back. It's not just me, Abu. It's all of you guys. All of you guys. I see all of you here. All of you. I feel like you guys are all here. I can feel you here. What would be happening if there was 51 of us in here? Who'd be running for the closet or the door? If magically, all of a sudden, 53 of us, every single one of you appeared in here. Who would scamper? Who would not want to be seen? Christoph says, I'll be on my way to pick up my master's thesis in a bit. I had it printed yesterday. Oh, wow. Awesome. Good for you. Congratulations, bro. Good job. Or says, wait, no, she called it a loud whisper, which made me laugh because you're always fucking loud whispering on here. I love whispers. I love whispers. Whispers, yes. It's like you have to be silent to catch the whisper. And sometimes whispers, the message in a whisper is more important than the ones that come from shouting. Shouting to me is nonsense. I can't take anyone serious that is shouting. I'm just like, you know, like, go away. How was Stairmaster with Carnal Flower, Eugene? Ha ha. Um, no Stairmaster today, Abu. Just back. Lots of rows, lots of rowing and rowing and rowing. And I was in Vetiver Extraordinaire all day from top to bottom. I did wear this last night to bed. After Did we stream last night? We streamed, didn't we? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. I made a promise to stream more often um but to bed and for my meditation i wore le peau nu and this is rose and powdery iris pastelli iris very soft powdery tonya says how about iris pudra you did not hear anything i reviewed iris pudra bro i reviewed it a couple of years ago um but we'll do iris pudra again we're gonna wear them all um right through Oh, let's wear Iris Puda tomorrow. I have that one. Okay, we can wear Iris Puda tomorrow. I think. I think. It sounds Iris Puda is a big one. It is a big, 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 bold aldehydic perfume. So that is something you need to be um, prepared for. Let me see. Where is Iris Puda? There we go. Iris Puda is right here, baby. Look at this Iris Puda. 
I have not worn much of this, as you can tell. But we'll wear it tomorrow. I feel like this is something that would get sour on the wrong skin. Sour iris. Sycamore may be an easier vetiver. Extraordinaire is in many ways a sola floor. Yeah, it's like Ropion really loves to overdose whatever he is working on. You know, and we've seen it time and time again. Carnal flower is overdosed and tuberose. Um you know, and again, the same thing here. It's just tons and tons of vetiver, cedar, clove, orange. There's not much detail and definition in the perfume, but it is deep and complex, right? It is big and blocky. It's a full perfume with lots of vetiver. Do you think Cologne Bigarad is worth it? Thinking of getting a partial bottle for 50% off. If you love it, it's, it's totally worth it. Like, big, here, how about Bigara Consent today? Cologne Bigara. This is a little bit stronger, Abu. Um, Cologne Bigara is very, very soft. So if it works for you I, and you love it, I would say yes, go for it. I mean, I have a bottle. I haven't spent much time wearing it. <clears throat> Cologne Bigara. Let me see. I don't even know where my bottle is. Hmm. I'll have to look for it. No sour diesel for me tonight. My patients are asleep on their chill pills, though. <laughs> what kind of chill pills are you giving them? Man. I'm so curious. Chill pills. Are those like gummies or something? No sour diesel for me. Frosted bottle of Guerlain Vetiver, the best. Antonio, how do you do this? How do you do this, Antonio? Like, I think Antonio's right here with me, and he sees exactly what's on here. How did you do that? I just picked this up. Yes, great vetiver. If you love vetiver, I would say Guerlain Vetiver, Chanel Sycamore, and Vetiver Extraordinaire amongst some of the classiest. David says, Eugene, as a perfumer, there's much to learn from you. At some point, could you please go into more detail what role synthetics play in natural perfumes? I'm trying to understand how perfume is made. <laughs> David, I'm not a perfumer. I'm just like everybody else. I don't have uh, a perfume education. However, however, I have made it a goal, right? I am interested in going to perfume school. That is something I would love to do. So maybe I'll be able to explain it better someday. Now, um, I'll, I'll explain it better someday. Pat Lester says, hello, Eugene. Scent of the night, Shepra Palatan. Good to see you, Pat Lester. Great scent of the day. Frank says Cologne Bigarat is rosier than Bigarat Concentre, but it acts on an actual Eau de Cologne. I love it, but that's just me and my obsession with Eau de Hermes and its inspired frags. Bigot, uh, yeah, Cologne Bigarat is much lighter. I would agree with that. Airier. MM says Santa de Encrenar. Another vetiver. Good seeing you, MM. French lover is Angelique's concentrated flanker. It would have been penned by Jean-Claude Elena, but Bourdon was cited because Jean-Claude Elena was under contract. That's right. Jean-Claude Elena was just hired by Hermes when French Lover was being released. So it was Bourdon's name that ended up going on there. Love French Lover. So if it is a if it is a Jean-Claude Elena, why why does it get tied so much to Creed's Royal Oud? Royal Oud was done by Bourdain, Bourdon, Bourdain, Anthony Bourdain. Um, shout out to Anthony Bourdain. But um, it was done by Bourdon, and French Lover was a Jean-Claude Elena. Why are they so tied together? 
my perfume prescription was for waxy fragrances. Hmm. Chanel's got wax. Bois de Zille is waxy. I don't know if I can think of anything waxier than that pastelliness. The made up word pastel. There it is again. I would say sycamore to me is, is very much wearable even in the summer heat because of the aldehydes. It acts differently between seasons. Yeah. So you prefer sycamore to a better work store. Yeah, buddy. What is happening, Zhao? Good to see you, bro. Hope everything's doing well. Let us know what you're wearing, Zhao. My scents need to be more mundane than the Grand Juby <laughs> while at work. Aqua Allegorias. You can find some interesting Aqua Allegorias. And just, just claim them as uh, deodorant or something, right? They can't keep you from wearing deodorant, can they? Whispers draw you in captivating. Lorenzo Villaresi Patchouli. Lane says, hello, Eugene. Just stopping by to say I really enjoyed wearing the Sondra today. This is a great fragrance. Thank you so much, Lane. It's good to see you. I appreciate that. Dushan says, greetings from Batke to all of you. Eugene is popular here. I am watching the stream with Dushan. We are smelling very good. All right, Batke, tell, tell us what you're wearing. <laughs> tell us what you're wearing, bro. Yeah, Dushan's pretty famous too, man. You have no idea how famous uh, Dushan is. Or it says, I, I have Le Po Nu on the way to me. I can't wait. Waxy, powdery, pastel-y. Very gorgeous. It reminds me of those old, like those, those what do you guys call them? The women, those pastel-y, cosmetic-y, little egg-shaped things, those chocolate egg-shaped things. That's what they smell like, a bowl of those. Vetiver Extraordinaire is top vetiver. It is. It is one of the nicer classier vetivers i love that combination of citrus and spice gabrielle says hello everyone Santa de guerlain eau de cologne deeper tobacco how does guerlain's vetiver compare to vetiver extraordinaire quite close i would say quite close both very fresh and crisp and wet um the difference being really the tobacco in in guerlain's that separates separates it This might be more dry, but I wouldn't say they're they're closer than they are to Sycamore. Chet says I have not smelled any of the Celine line. What house would you say they are somewhat of a parallel to, or are they completely in their own direction? They're almost like a junior Chanel, I would say. Yeah, they're very classy but streamlined. Clean, streamlined, classy, very approachable, well-made, interesting. Not all of them. Some are more interesting than others. Um, but it all depends on what you like. Hearing about people wearing Bois Mysterio makes me happy. Me too. Me too. Um, Bois and Songe, uh, I have a very special place for them in my heart. Because it was... It was Songe that I was really interested in when I discovered the Guerlain Boutique. Like I went there with the intention of discovering Songe and Rose Nacri and um, what's the other one? Ensemble Smithique. And those are what drew me into the, the Guerlain Boutique. And um, because of them, I got to discover all the other great classics. I just love that. What do you love, Antonio? You love love? I'm a macho man. <laughs> I wear carnal problem. I wear carnal flower, no problem. I'm glad to hear that. I kind of get that vibe that you're a macho man. So. Yeah, I'm, there's a lot of macho men here. Who's the biggest macho man? Who's got the hairiest chest here? Abu says I sprayed Frederick Muldon when I walked when I walked in the ICU. No one was accidentally extubated yet. Stick around. We'll find out what happens. Extraordinaire has no tobacco coumarin. Extraordinaire is rougher, closer, the actual vetiver oil. Yeah, very high quality. 
it has cumin aldehyde it has ozone notes with all that said it still harkens back to gear and better very much Western Chanel number 19 ET has a waxy plasticky feel to it. Yeah, 22 does as well. Number 22, bois, number five. Boy has that waxiness to it in the dry down. Zhao is wearing good juice. Greetings to Vilnius. I don't want to push my luck. Oh, yeah, that's right. You did say Butke is wearing vintage jupe Lancaster. Oh, he's got the good stuff, eh? Do you still buying fragrances? From time to time, yes, of course. Having him wait uh, being the last one. Or says, I have a hard time with vetiver sometimes. I'm such a perfume newbie. Are you a newbie? What is it about vetiver that you don't, you have a hard time with? It's for me, it's like more of an interest level. Like I like the intricacies of vetiver, but I don't think that I just prefer them in the background, right? Dushan Villaresi patchouli is so good. That earthy, chocolatey, woodsy patchouli that I was craving for today. Bourdon's understudy, Rascanet, took it to Cree to make royal oud, spice and wood, and geranium vetiver. Raskane made um, Royal Oud, not Bourdon. I didn't know that. I thought it was Bourdon that made Royal Oud. Kuwait says, I hope to visit Canada and meet you. Hey, you never know, man. That's very possible. That's very possible. That would be awesome. My favorite vetiver still is Vintage Timbuktu. Really? Better than all these ones that we... we, 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 we we have here vintage Timbuktu. It's uh, vetiver and mango. Let's pull her out. Let's pull out the Timbuktu, will we? Papyrus and incense. This is your favorite vetiver, eh, Dushan? Timbuktu. It's been a while since I've worn this. It's quite woody. Hmm. It feels Timbuktu feels like it's somewhere in between a vetiver extraordinaire and um, what am I looking here? Sycamore. It's both dry and wet. It's like, it feels like it's the papyrus that's dry. The papyrus dries this perfume out. It's the vetiver and the mango is wet and, and it's clashing, not clashing, but contrasting that, that dry papyrus. It's me. I have the hairiest chest, definitely. New Timbuktu. The mango fruit notes are quite different from the vintage. I've not tried the modern. Dushan, good morning. I actually also like Guerlain Vetiver Extreme. Great for humidity. Vetiver Extreme is easier to wear for me than the original OG Vetiver. But I do prefer the OG. Good morning, Sir Antonio. Santa de Corpus Aquis. What's happening, Carl's Charles? Antonio Hobson, like you, working late for me. You, you like the night shift, eh? If it's too dark or smoky, I can't hang with vetiver. I prefer dark and smoky to wet and lush. I've only been into fragrances about four months, around four months. Oh, wow. That's so interesting. Four months. How did you find fragrance at this level? Like, why are you here after four months? Did you skip the whole designer world? Nishan Sultan Vetiver is so sexy, says Anna. And so is Lardazan Timbuk too. Well, there you go. You're the second one screaming for Timbuk too. I've not tried Sultan Vetiver. 
but I there's lots of people that love it, and I also hear opposite. Like there's people that aren't crazy about it. Do you still have Derby? I hope they re-release re in some form. Fantastic. I do still have. Do you still have Dandy or? I do have Dandy, and Derby. But not Denby. Where's Denby gone? Somebody was asking about Denby the other day. Wherever he is, I hope he's doing well. Bertrand Dusha four. That's right. Under my skin is waxy to me. What makes it waxy, Babouche? Whose chest hair has the most dandruff? Oof. Not mine, bro. Not mine. I shower as often as I can. I think a great vetiver for the summer is a skull on Haiti for Les and Demidoble. It is a very dry vetiver, and I love it. Yeah, a very musky, colony vetiver. Les and Demidoble haven't done a vetiver, like a straight-on vetiver yet for their like main range, have they? I was just thinking about that today, like while I was thinking of other vetivers and exploring this. I was like, who else has made a vetiver similar to this? But there's nothing quite similar to this one. I get a lot of that um, clove and cumin. There's a lot of that cumin in here as well. Super spicy, fresh spicy, warm spicy. I'm currently wearing Bois d'Automne perfume and I sprayed 30 sprays. Bro, that's intense, man. Where are you going? Where, <laughs> where are you going with that much perfume? Are you going there twice? <laughs> you can go there three times. <laughs> Raskine claimed it. Yeah, they might have both worked on it. Who knows? I, do you think perfumers actually care for the credit on their perfumes? Is that something that they strive for to get recognized? All of them, some of them, maybe. Frag Enthusiast, what's happening? You smells good. How's Marge? Marge is okay from the last time I spoke to her. Um, she was doing okay. Haven't seen that ass in charge. Also, talk to us about Tom Ford perfume. Yeah, well, Margie, wherever you are, I hope you're doing well. I, I don't know. Is there something to be concerned about? I don't, I don't know, but she's doing well margie's a big girl smart girl yes i skipped the designer world basically i just got interested after taking a terrible perfume making class and now i'm going hard in the paint what was uh perfume classes like and where did you take those online did you take a course that's interesting what made you decide to take a perfume making course how did that come up That's really interesting. Timbuktu, another vetiver for humidity, yet also a great winter. Yeah, I think that dryness really works. It helps in the, in the humidity. Do you think that Timbuktu from 2004 has inspired Terra de Hermes in 2006? Hmm. I never thought about it. Hmm. No, no, they could be similar, but I don't really see like a deep connection. Vetiver, cedar, some citrus, maybe the costas. Margie is probably lurking. Well, hello, Margie. If you're lurking, hello. Hope you're doing well. Let us know what you're wearing, if you like. If not, we'll guess. We'll just guess that it's La Duletic Skis. Okay, Margie? Margie's wearing La Duletic Skis. Okay, there. She said it. I heard her. Ashton swears by salt and vetiver. I'm yet to try it. Yeah, but Rich Mitch doesn't. And yeah, and there. <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to ask Rich, but I can swear I thought I heard Rich say he didn't enjoy it. What's your take on Tom Ford perfume? Signature line and private one. It's good if it's your style. I like a few of them. I've got a bunch, um, and they're great for what they are. Very modern and very, at times, aggressive perfume. 
I too have only been into perfumes for a couple months. David too, before I owned only two, Liz Claiborne Curve and Comme de Garçon Two Man Ramsey turned me into on the perfume. That's really interesting. How did you get like into this world, David? How did you get sucked into this rabbit hole from only owning two perfumes? Only been for a couple of months. My cousin owns a place here where they do various art craft classes and perfume making was one of them. All the materials were intended for scented candles and I had a horrible headache for days. Yeah, I imagine. I can imagine. That's lots of vulgar ingredients, aren't there? Jacques Foth Vetiver Gris is also very nice. Vetiver Fresh, Green Vetiver, Creamy Hazelnut. What about this uh, for Vetiver? What about this, Hermes? Vetiver Tonka. Anybody a fan of this one? Or Le Labo, Vetiver 46. Anyone a fan of this one? I like this for Vetiver. And I'm really excited for the reformulation of this. Okay. This is Cristal. And there was an article on Fragrantica that says um, Olivier Polge is, is touching all of the uh, concentrations up. So there's going to be a reformulation. And I'm quite excited to see what he's ha he has in, in mind for these to see how they're going to change because I do love both Cristal and Olivier Polish. So I look forward to smelling those. I still have yet to buy a full bottle of anything, just trying to learn with the samples. Yeah, enjoy your samples. Just explore and discover and go into all, as many places as you can. I mean, I dabbled before very casually dated perfume. Just try as many things as you can. I really like salt and vetiver, but Rich says that he loves the first 30 minutes and then it's just amber woods. Yeah, I remember him being like, well, look, he's right here. Uh, I hate <laughs> salt and vetiver because the opening is incredible and then 20 minutes, it turns to bad fuck. <laughs> I, I thought he said something like that. Welcome to our family, David Hunter, says Dushan. It was so vulgar, it was offensive. Like the stream for Rich Mitch. Vetiver Gris is beautiful. It was created by one of Bourdon's understudies. Which understudy, Pat Lester? Jacques Fath. Rich Mitch, are you a fan of Tom Ford's signature or private blend? Yeah, I think Rich likes them. I think Rich has several bottles. I love high-end scented candles, and I keep thinking of my best friend in Paris and her Mitsuko. I searched on YouTube and discovered Ramsey. So I actually stopped burning candles in my house because... They started to give me headaches and it's just concentrated oils that completely fill the room that are burning that don't seem very healthy to me. So I stopped, I stopped burning them and, and just enjoy having them on the shelf and smelling them when I walk by. That's how I feel about candles now. They're very intense. If I'll burn one, even incense, like incense has started to affect in like affect me as well. Rich getting a lot of love here. Rich, you are loved, man. Hello. Salt and vetiver opens with vetiver, morphs to vetiver in the mid and finishes with vetiver. Vetiver coming in strong. Too effing much, says Babouche. Fragrance enthusiasts, yeah, I like a few of both, mostly older releases. I'm watching there's a few nice vetiver notes, pretty dominant in DM. Man, I don't remember vetiver with I'm wash, but Frederick seems to be using it in, in a lot of his perfumes. 
especially the like the classic masculines you know I would imagine Bois d'Orage has lots of vetiver in it. This is a very green. It's green and bitter. There's that bitter. Green and bitter note again. I love that combination. Geranium, put them on here. Does this have vetiver? It might. Another masculine. I want to try the Fath Vetiver. Vetiver Tonka is a favorite of mine. A Vetiver Tonka? Oh, the Hermes, yes. Uh, Amor's Dia is a great Vetiver, very complex. I don't know Dia. Salt and Vetiver has strong amber wood. I should wear Dia to work. When I started watching Ramsey, I was mesmerized because he was talking about Russian Adam and how much he loved Oud, fecal sense. And I was like, what? Yeah, it's it, it's kind of strange to describe them like that, but it makes sense at the same time. I get what he's saying. It's the challenging aspect that that's appreciated. Diamant is so quiet and elegant. Love French lover and Bois d'Orage. Mark Gallagher. A lot of people do. I'm. Why do I why do I keep feeling so surprised? It's such a soft perfume and it gets so much love. I wonder what it is that draws people in. Any chance you can pop into the screen, Rich? Rich, would you like to come on? I feel the same way about candles and incense. I guess that Nishane salt and vetiver is not so popular. Well, on my skin, it's divine. I've not tried salt and vetiver. I feel the same way about candles. What what don't you don't like it either, eh? They're like very atmospheric, I feel, and consuming and sometimes like head pounding. Fragrance enthusiasts, when purchasing perfume, do you go for the hundred or the fifty? I go for the two hundred mil, bro. 200 <laughs> 200 but if they only come in 50 or 100 i usually go with for the hundreds it's just personal preference dushan amwaj dia is very elegant indeed dushan has two bottles dushan flexing in front of anna hear him roar what else do you have backups of douche Flex. Have you tried Trudon candles? My jam the past few. I've not tried Trudon, but I heard those are like the Rolex of candles, basically. Just kind of like Frederick Mull of Niche perfume. Is Frederick the Rolex of Niche? Is he Niche? He he won't he won't agree to be calling me Niche. He doesn't like that label. He'll kind of like <laughs> he'll make that microaggression. He is luxury. That's how he considers himself. So he is the Rolex of luxury perfumes, I would say. Him or Roja? I would say Frederick. Frederick is the Rolex. Has anyone tried the new Hermes Vive? I've not, but I was contemplating going down to Hermes today to check out the new Oud. Uh, if I, I, I called them twice. Only to get an answering machine. If I, I got an answer saying they had a tester bottle, I would have bolted down there this afternoon. But I couldn't get through. Sandra B. Hi, how are you? Good seeing you. I grew out of incense and candles too. Mm. I wonder if it's for the same reason. Profuma Roma Adas Adach is also a fantastic vetter in the same realm of vetiver tonka, but more intense and licorice. I have a backup of Zonka and Hashish Home. Antonia says, side note, at my Nordstrom's, they have Frederick Mall on one shuffle in the back. Sad. On one shuffle. On one shelf? That's how Frederick Mall is here. 
uh, at the Holtz closest to me, there's no counter. He is just simply on a shelf all by himself, like in the back corner somewhere. At the other Holtz, he has a full counter and display and a beautiful setup. It's not like that everywhere, though. I guess it depends on how much he wants to pay for retail space, right? And it's not cheap. I imagine retail space isn't cheap. Yeah, French Lover is a masterpiece to me. I don't throw that word around much at all. I'm curious about the new Dior. Me too, but I'm more curious about the new Hermes. I haven't gone down to Dior to even smell this yet. So I that just kind of tells you my excitement for Dior now. Like new Dior's with Francis being there. It's it's really dropped. There's no Frederick Moll in my Nordstrom at all. Oh no. Anywhere close to you? Why would anyone want to smell like a barn with animals in it and real deer musk? Yikes. Still, I ordered a sample of Malik Al Taif and I'm completely perplexed and confounded. It's art, David. It's it's to see what somebody can construct with natural or synthetic materials and how that can make somebody feel. I mean, it's oud. I mean, you're not wearing poop. It, it does smell barnyardy and animalic, and um, it doesn't have to be gross, though. Guys, break time. <laughs> One hour. Does somebody want to come on? Seattle is the closest, maybe. I don't know, Oris. Is there a Frederick Mall counter in Seattle? Galen would know that. But Galen's not here. Galen would definitely know. The Oud Natural Animalics rabbit hole is indeed a hole. I'm out of the hole, but the products are in my drawer. It is another hole, like a rabbit hole. Ouds and artisanals, yeah. Perfume is a big place. So it's a big place to get lost in. So, I mean... Can you explore all avenues of perfume? Possibly going to cost you a lot of money perfume is expensive uh is it necessary that's up to you you know i found my comfort i know what i'm comfortable with in perfume i know what i love and enjoy and that's kind of where i cling you know you can find me in these watering holes all the time and then guys i'm going to take a quick break this sponsor break is brought to you by the quatrefoil <laughs> I'll be right back.
I'm back. I think after this stream, I might go for a walk. It's really lovely outside. Does anyone else enjoy those late, late, late night, early, early, early morning winter walks? The fresh, crisp, dark walks. I love that that cutting air when it enters your lungs, that fresh, crisp air in the middle of the night. And just walking. Walking is inspiring. I love incense, but never use it because I don't want to ruin my white walls, nor my paintings. Smoking will ruin your white walls. Too much smoke. I love candles. It's like having a fireplace in the cold concrete New York City jungle. Dior lost me when they launched 15 privés all at the same time. And like it wasn't bad enough, they re released Dior 2020, increased their prices like crazy. That's tacky, isn't it? When did Dior get tacky? It was right around the time of Fev, wasn't it? Fev Delicious and Sauvage. That's when they got tacky. Portland is a good place to get some of the niche brands, but Chanel, Frederick Mall, Dior, Hermes, all not there. What is up with that? What is up with that? Portland has some nice boutiques. Gillen would talk about the boutiques he would visit there. Yeah, and he said the same. You can get a lot of niche stuff, but not the depart not the good department store perfumes. Tom Ford's tobacco oud is very wearable. I agree. Sauvage Elixir is pretty good though. How good, Zhao? How good is pretty good? Is pretty good enough? It's pretty good enough. I'm still a mall zealot. Uncut gem release was dumb though. If it was priced to compete, then okay, but it's priced like Portrait of a Lady and Carnal Flower, a tier of mall known for expensive naturals. Is, is it in the higher price point? Apparently they're saying that Mall is like dropping his prices. So that's that's good to see. You don't ever see that. You don't ever see brands drop prices. So I wonder what that is up, what that is all about. Stream from ISS. What's happening, Dune? Can a woman pull it off wearing Savage Elixir? Yeah, I think so. It's mostly lavender and soap and licorice, foamy notes. I think so. It's very fresh. That's how I feel, and maybe I've worn tobacco oud so much that any shock value is gone. I feel the same way. It was shocking the first time I, I, I just smelled it. To me, it smelled poopy and enamelic. And then the more I got to know it, it's the, the more that kind of disappeared. Or my palate had, has changed or... Or both. In two months, I'll visit Ljubljana, Klagenfurt, Salzburg, and Graz. Five days of vacation. Knize 10 Golden Edition is waiting for you. If you have any fragrances, wish, let me know. Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? Smoke break. <laughs> Sour diesel break. With the witches. This is the witching hour, bro. 420, man. 420, yo, 420. <laughs> the witching hour. Right on time, man. Gillen probably lurking. I think Gillen's asleep. Gillen's not a he's not a night owl. He has actually filed some complaints with the time slot here. He's not enjoying the time slot, but I'm enjoying the time slot, and that's the most important thing. And that all of you guys are enjoying the time slot, and you're here. Maybe one day Jill, Gillen will join us, or maybe you can just watch the rerun. But eventually, we'll we'll do like the other time slot too. But I'm enjoying this time slot right now. There's some days I can do an after, like a, a an afternoon Toronto slot, like twelve o'clock afternoon. That would be like a huge contrast to this one. Do they escape to draw? Some perfumes are a fight to Canaan. What do you mean, Flower Girl B? 
Ramsey would feel like he's in Russian Adam's cabinet if he came over. Can you imagine? I'd love to see if uh, Ramsey go visit him over there and smell Adam's juices, his naturals. In one month, I'll be in Thailand all of March. Maybe I can meet with Adam. Cool. What are you doing in Thailand? Business, pleasure, both. Ramsey is the best smelling man in Texas. Sounds like a plan. Time for some sweet pancakes. What's going on the pancakes, Dushan? Maple syrup. I wish there was a perfume that smelled like raw rutabagas. I would rock that. Rutabagas. So something earthy, soily, potatoey. Rutabagas. Why rutabagas? <laughs> What's happening, Wesley Garlic? Uh, hello, Eugene. Santa Day is late and exclusive. I'm just working here with Nessum. Cool, man. Good to see you. On the night shift. I've had many Seer Trudon candles. My absolute favorite, those Maitre, Gantier, Ombre de Nepal transports me into another world. I love Madet, Len, and Carrier Fier candles. The French are the best. Zhao, are you a fan of Diorome 2020? Sauvage Elixir is good enough to consider a full bottle. There you go. That's all you need to know, Zhao. That's good enough for me. I don't mind the perfume shops in Portland. I'm just not a fan of the Antifa crap. Mm. Germs, what's happening? I'm going to christen my Trudon. I wrote a scathing review about diptyque candles. They've fallen from grace. They charge $75 for a candle and use petroleum wax. They are mass produced with hundred stores worldwide. What are the uh, Sierra Trudon candles go for? And I heard Diptyque had purchased Dia Sindurga. That was news to me this morning. Anyone else surprised by this? Dia Sindurga was bought up by Diptyque. That's an interesting acquisition. So Diptyque now, they own a couple of smaller brands under them. It looks like they're... I wonder if they're going to start something. I wonder if they're trying to build their assets to sell themselves to maybe um, a bigger corporate, like a Louis Vuitton, Mo Hennessy. Dune says, my bottle of music for a while came in. It's like smelling karan puron om through a slice of pineapple. It's intriguing. Yeah. What about the patchouli in there? That lively patchouli. The lavender. It's quite dry, isn't it? And it's got a beautiful contrast of sweet, sticky notes. Even the sweetness is dry, too. But dry woody notes, dry sticky notes, dry sweet notes. <clears throat> it is a very dry lavender. He's still a lurker. Lots of lurkers. I don't see music for a while for sale much anymore. They don't go on sale very often. Frederick Mull. Do they? Like, are they, are they being heavily discounted? If they are, I imagine he's flooded the market with them. Rutabagas are awesome. My wife is Thai. We are both using our baby bonding leave to escape to paradise. <laughs> awesome, man. We're both using our baby bonding leave. <laughs> is that like um, baby bonding? What does that mean, baby bonding? Is that something from the government, bonding? Is that like, because um, here they give baby bonus to couples with kids. You get paid per child. The government pays you to have children. 
I don't know if they still do that, do they? A fan of DH2020 here. It's good for the gym and smells beautiful in the air. Your own 2020 has a very weird synthetic sweetness that lingers from start to finish. Yeah, I'm not, I can't wear Dior Homme 2020, guys. It's... Mm. I just find it bland. What, Antonio Hobson? What happened? What are you questioning? What do you want to know? Babouche says, Oris, turnips get a bum rap. Creed candles are fucking overpriced garbage. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know Creed made candles. Have you guys seen the leather things that Creed has made? The leather pouches? They seem quality. They seem really nice and expensive, but really nice. I felt them in the hand. They were like, they've they've changed their aesthetic since they were purchased by BlackRock. They've changed some of their pack like things are starting to look way more classier at creed but it's also reflecting in the price that's the issue and they're expensive to begin with but i really like uh, not not that i wouldn't dish out the 500 dollars or whatever it is for those pouches hermes charges like 800 dollars for their leather pouches for their perfume pou pouches Frederick Mull's got perfume pouches as well. I'm not sure what they go for. But I mean, I'm just about the perfume, you know. The pouches are nice, but not $800 nice for a pouch that, gosh, $800 for a pouch. Oof. Diptyque was bought out. Give me a sec. I heard that too, Dia Sindurga. I haven't liked anything I've tried. I've never tried a Dia Sindurga. Moose is in Izzy Summer 09. Fragrance Enthusiast says, Dior Homme 2020 has a very weird synthetic sweetness that lingers from start to finish. Guinness. Carl's Charles. Paris Edinburgh by Chanel is a stunning vetiver cologne. Is it vetiver? Yeah, it's quite piney. Green and piney. Pancakes with jam and cream. Bon appetit. What kind of jam? Strawberry jam? Plum jam? Vetiver jam? I can get down with some turnips, but not my favorite root vegetable. Team rutabaga. Team parsnip. <laughs> no, I mean, music for a while is not available much. Mm, by Frederick Mull. In 2005, the teak was bought by, you guessed it, a private equity firm, Manzanita Capital. Their CEO, William S. Fisher's worth is $1.85 billion. He worked at the Gap, and he's a hedge fund manager. Mm. Yeah, you need, you need the capital money to back you to get as big as these guys are, you know? I think you can only get so far. And then once the big money comes in, like, it gives you, it gives you, you can do so much more. Paid family leave for newborns. Here they give, they give, uh, it's like a year off to mothers for maternity leave, but fathers can also take maternity leave. Or they can split it amongst the, like, so they each get six months. In Australia, they're called suede. Swede. Moose says, Eugene, pick a shelf behind you. Which shelf is the most expendable? Expendable? None. None. I need them all. They're all mine. None of them are going anywhere. I've heard of that. I have a family in Australia, and my family eats rutabagas at Thanksgiving. A rutabaga fetish. I love Ch Chanel Biarritz. I would buy Edinburgh also. I like all of those, Lizzo. They're all really beautiful. They all have this Chanel sparkle to them. 
Chanel has this really beautiful sparkle, like very, hmm, like jewelry, like the sparkle off of a body of water, like the sparkle, like somebody's eye sparkling. They have a sparkle to their perfumes, especially that Lizzo range. They're very sparkling. The only DS and Durga I've tried is Burning Barbershop, and I've quite liked it. Very interesting. Would you say that they're well made using good quality ingredients and all that? Perfumes are interesting and balanced. Christoph, what is your master's in? Harry says, I want Frederick Mull the Night in the Moon, but over $500, no way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yeah, you have to you have to decide what you want to do, bro. I I get it. I get it. I get it. It's it's art. All stuff that we don't need, but we want. It's stuff that we want. How much are we willing to pay for it? That's what art is. Education, says Chris. Congratulations. I have my master's thesis laying around here somewhere. Makes a good coaster. Is that what happens to them after they're marked? Do you own any diptyque? I do. I heard they don't radiate off skin as much. Is that true? No, I think they perform quite well. I mean, just as good as any other brand. Uh, no, they have excellent performance. Uh, zero complaints from me. And I have a number of them. Not here in America. Work, 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 more work. Enjoy every minute. Chanel is scintillating. Devil Semi said, made you something on Procreate and sent it to you on Instagram DM. I think you'll like it. Should I check now? We like to think our parents didn't have favorites, but they do. Same thing with perfumes. Pick a shelf, Eugene. <laughs> I, there's no way I can pick a favorite child. That would be... There's no way. I, I would not be able to f pick a, or separate the children to pick a favorite child. Hmm. Moose, you son of a, you son of a. I can't do it, Moose. I love them all so much. I'd have to revisit the Dia Sindurga. It's been a while since I've smelled it. I need to work on my master's thesis. Me too. I'm going to start writing a thesis. Check right now. All right, hang on. Check right now, yeah. You want me to check now? I don't see anything. On Instagram? Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh my god, this is this is hilarious. <laughs> I'm going to share this later, okay? I'll share this to my Instagram. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Is that who's the dude? Is that the dude from Dracula or something? Who is this guy? He looks very draconian. <laughs> I love the eyeballs. All right. <laughs> that was good. That was good. 
Speaking of sparkling, Susie and Nicola made me realize that what I like about these soft, sensuous, cosmetic scents is that they have a kind of mischievous flirtation to them, a sparkle in their eyes. Yeah, and kind of like a vul vulgarity in, in the attitude, right? Just attitude. Nobody needs to know as long as my paycheck reflects that I'm a master. <clears throat> Yeah, you should be paid as a master. Fragrance enthusiast for the love of fig. I would like to buy Philosicos from the Teak. Premier fig is my favorite fig scent by far. By far. You're a good man. No, I mean it. I would not, I would never pick one kid over another. Perfumes, I would, you know, it's so much easier to pick perfumes, but. I wouldn't want one of my kids to feel like excluded. I don't know. Do parents do that? That's awful, I think. Like make a kid feel left out. Even for a joke. Like I think even for a joke, that would be because jokes, you know, there's a little bit of truth in jokes and and kids remember that stuff, right? Like my mom's never, ever, ever once picked a favorite kid. And we've asked her a million times, who's your favorite? Like I've got a brother and sister. And she, she's never, ever answered it. She would laugh it off or um, avoid the question or kind of go around it. But she's never once picked a favorite. And I feel like we're all her favorites, right? In different ways. She appreciates us in very different ways. You know, I can't do for her what my sister does for her. And, um, you know, my brother can't do for her what I do for her, right? So... That's like we're all different and we find appreciation and like different things in everybody that we love. Have you had any of your perfumes go bad after a while? The only one I can think of right now is like vintage Lamal, but I've had that for so long and it was probably sitting in the like in the washroom in, in humid rooms and stuff like that. So not many. I, I wouldn't say many. Just Lamal. I'm almost done with my 10 mil of Rose and Queer. I'm definitely getting a larger bottle now. I love Rose and Queer. So I'm glad to hear that you are enjoying it and getting the bigger bottle. That's a great geranium perfume. Mint geranium. Corporate law, specifically corporate governments of family-owned business. Zhao the lawyer. Young Frankenstein. Igor. Igor. Igor, I had a best friend named Igor. We were we were chums. Igor was a troublemaker, and uh, we enjoyed each other's company. <laughs> Igor, can you imagine having a best friend named Igor? Igor was kind of like Frankenstein. I have a sample of Notorious Oud from Dias and Durga. I think it's interesting enough for a bottle. Okay, that's good to hear. I've not tried any Dias and Durga, but I hear, you know, you, you see and you hear things and you always kind of keep that in the back of your mind to try. But they have that Burning Barber shop. That's what I want to try, Burning Barber. Just the name alone, I like, that's a name where that makes me feel like I want to try it just because of the name, just on the name alone. I have interest. Great name. I'm starting to get the feeling that Eugene's favorite perfumers are Frederick Malsh and Nell and get along. David Hunter, you are very sharp. You are indeed very, very sharp. The devil sent me, do you like frankincense? Yeah, what's not to like about frankincense? Wow, we. I think every parent has a favorite kid, but nobody would ever admit it. Hmm. Hmm. Come on, pick a shelf just for fun. The perfumes won't get mad, I promise. I'll pick you want me to pick a favorite shelf? A favorite shelf. I mean, how how can you do this to me? This this is this is not this isn't is this culturally even appropriate? Is this acceptable to pick a favorite shelf? You 
guys. I, I, I refuse to play this game. I refuse, right? I refuse to get sucked into something that I'm not willing to participate in. I'm not willing to, okay? And if you keep harassing me, I'm going to have to detain you guys. And you have to stick around here for a long time. Or at least until you like the stream. Once you like the stream, we'll release you. But um, pick a shelf. Hmm. I can't do it. I just, just like too many good things there. I am both my parents' favorite child. Lucky you. How do you get rewarded with that? Like, how does that play a role into privilege? Privilege. Privileged, privileged child. Then you are Frankenstein. If you're the one asking about favorites, you're definitely not the favorite. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. I think all of us had asked that one time. It just comes up in conversation. Will, will anyone be buying queef and milk? What is that? That was an incentive thing to say. We got a lot of uh, linguistics in the chat here. Talking about incense, has anyone tried uh, Filippo Sorcinelli Labs? I No, I've not tried it. I think Rich has a bottle. Yeah, buddy. Rich, you want to come on? Richard. There's the link. Come on. I haven't, but the sample set is on my list. Oh, I have a course starting in 15 minutes. A course for what? Oh, <laughs> Eugene wishing right now he had a shelf of uh, Prada bottles. Um, do I? Do I moose? I can't do it, moose. I mean, what would you take out of there? The Dior's? What would you take out of there? You, Rich, you invented Lick the Stream. Yeah, buddy. Okay, which ones wouldn't you pay a ransom for? You know what? I wouldn't pay a ransom for any of them. I own them all. I don't have to pay a ransom. How about that? <laughs> How about that, Babouche? I don't like this game. I am not losing any of my perfumes. If anything, I'll be picking up more. I'm not getting rid of them. <laughs> I'm an only child by privilege. Are you talking about money? I don't know what, what kind of privilege comes with being a favorite child. I didn't, I didn't know you were implying you were the only child, but I imagine that being the favorite child, there comes a privilege with it. It could be in the form of money. It could be in favors. It could be in. It could be in anything. It could be in gratitude. It could be in love. It could be in. Um, it could be in anything. Have you tried the new Hermes Vive? I haven't. If you want to teach, you must be rich, Mitch. Okay, imagine there was an earthquake. All right, imagine there was an earthquake. <laughs> I'm not playing. <laughs> Why do I got to get rid of one of my shelves? How about like we pick individual perfumes? I'm privileged to emotionally support my emotionally stunted parents aren't all of them like in some way emotionally stunted don't they all like don't all of us stop growing after a certain age emotionally and what is that like six nine <laughs> twelve for some of us i don't know 
Um, yeah, I think a lot of us go through that. Eugene is too clever. <laughs> we set traps, but he slips right through them. Maybe you got to rig up a good bear trap. We all know it's lit love. <laughs> Dude, how do you know that? What makes what makes you think that? What makes you think that? I enjoy Le Labos, some of them. More so now than when I had first encountered them. Le Labo was angry, Eugene. The Labo goes first. Possibly. Um, guys, Dior's not looking so hot, are they? Like, you can make fun of Le Labo all you want. Le Labo is like a, a, it's a small niche brand, right? <laughs> We're comparing Le Labo and Dior here. There shouldn't ever be that comparison. But, but there's a comparison here, so there's a problem, right? There's there's there is a problem right here in this little sector, right? Right here. I don't know what we're gonna do with this. What's gonna happen? If we come back five years from now, what are we gonna be talking about in this space? What's gonna be the word on Dior? Is it gonna be bleak? Is it going to be light? Are we looking forward to it? What's going to matter? Five years from now, 10 years, what's Dior going to look like? Forget about Le Labo. Leave Le Labo. They're doing their thing. <laughs> I remember a few videos you made. About what? Le Labo? Yeah, I made quite a few videos. So many vintage fragrances in Japan and so many earthquakes there. That's scary. <laughs> is that what you're worried about? Is the, the vintage fragrances do shut? <laughs> what about the maple syrup? What about the vetiver oil? We are fools on the we're on a fool's mission. <laughs> hey, it's the dream. Listen, Babouche, if it wasn't this mission. It would be some other foolish mission. Pick the fool. Pick the foolish, foolish mission. Pick the mission that makes you happiest. And somehow we have all ended up here. How? It's it's what we have picked or what has chosen us. I know I have picked this. This hasn't picked me. You know, this is my mission. So uh, it's not a foolish mission. It is. Um, it is a created mission. It is a mission. It is an interesting mission. And it's interesting. Watch it unfold. And like I said, we'll see where it goes five years from now. Lay Slabo. Wow, what if I'm still here in five years? What if? Would that be a good thing or a bad thing? Question, exclamation, question. Five years from now, Dior will be Dior Sphere. <laughs> that would be kind of a good thing, wouldn't it? If a lot of those disappeared. In the words of a British duck, shite. Mm. Who's going to be here five years from now? If I go back uh, to videos from five years from now and read comments, because sometimes I'll get somebody comment on the video five years from now, and it'll show up in my thing. And then I'll, I'll I'll go through the comments, and I still see familiar faces that are still here all the time from five years ago. But so many this, so many come and go, so many disappear. Fev Delicious is so sweet that it gives me Dioria. Ask me in five years. All right, I'll ask you in five years. If you're here. If you're here. 
Don't give him any ideas, Dushan. Dior is up here, and no oil is just alcohol. All right, guys. It looks like it's a good time to exit. Hour 45. We got 45 in the house. So tomorrow, I think we'll be back tomorrow. Let's do, and if you have this, you can wear it along with us. And we will go with, where did she go? Iris Puda. Pierre Bourdon's Iris Puda. So if you have Iris Puda, wear it along with us. And we can all review it together. And you can drop your comments or your opinions or your feelings or whatever you want to share about the perfumes down in the comment section and if you're watching this i don't know some people watch these afterward these live streams and if they want to drop their comment on um whatever it is that we're talking about they're free to they're welcome to they're encouraged to so drop a comment down below anyway guys we will see you all tomorrow with iris pudra have a great night and take care Bye, everybody.